Okay guys, in today's video we're going to be discussing the OB Peacock Cichlid, also known as the Orange Blotch Peacock Cichlid. This is a peacock cichlid that is specifically bred for this color pattern that they have right here. Now I will tell you before I go any further in this video, you really need to make sure that all of these things are followed to a T because these fish are not hardy at all. At least it's been my experience with that. They don't survive unless everything is pretty much perfect and the slightest of changes can ultimately end up killing these fish. Unfortunately, my personal opinion on that is that the breeding over the years really has led to that being a factor. So just keep that in mind that this is not a hardy fish whatsoever. To follow the King of Aquariums on all social media, we are on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and yes, even Tumblr. What are you waiting for? Hit up the socials. Alrighty, so tank size and tank mates go hand in hand here. You're gonna need, at least in my opinion, a 55 gallon fish tank. The reason being, these fish thrive in a community with a lot of fish and 55 gallon is really the first level of tank size where you can really, really overstock fish. The reason you wanna do that with these guys is when they're paired up with other fish, but in a very small amount of fish, they are extremely aggressive. They, um, they will go after and bully smaller fish and try to be the tank boss and they will be violent. They can be very nippy. You can see this guy here isn't even the biggest in this tank and he is still highly, highly aggressive. But having all of these other fish to sort of spread out the aggression can really help with that. Now, if you're gonna keep, uh, keep strictly OB peacock cichlids, your ratio, you're gonna want three females to one male. This guy right here is a male. That bright, vibrant color pattern is how you know that he is a male for the most part. Now. There are other ways to sex this fish, but he's simply not big enough to be able to do so. Your females, they're gonna be less vibrant in color and they are going to be very pale looking. Now, when it comes to temperature, anything between 75 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit is gonna be where you wanna keep it. I currently keep this tank at 80 and he thrives in that. So I would never really go outside of that, especially colder. And it is definitely a thorough, hard requirement that you have a heater for these guys. This isn't the type of fish. Once again, because it's not that hardy that you wanna keep without a heater and just, you know, do one of those, ah, it'll be all right type of deals. Um, you're, you're gonna end up losing your fish if you don't keep them at the appropriate temperature. Now, pH. I currently keep at 8.0 because most of the fish in here, including the OB, thrive between 7.5 and 8.5, but I find that for all my species of cichlid, 8.0 is working absolutely great. Um, pH is something that, unless you are willing to perfectly maintain, you don't necessarily have to do, but I would do. Um, just make sure that if you start messing with the pH in the water, that you maintain that pH for the history of the tank, especially with those guys. And of course, substrate. I use a mixture of fish gravel with the shells that are specifically made for cichlid, which help maintain pH in the tank that is a little bit higher. Um, filtration basically the way that I filter tanks is I'll usually use a hang on bag or I'll use a bunch of sponge filters as you can see there I will be cleaning those soon make sure you stick around because I will have a video on how to do that without making a mess in the tank um, but you definitely want to over filter especially if you're running a lot of fish like this um, I'm actually running a about 400 gallons of filtration total in this tank. I wouldn't really do any lower than that with this amount of fish. Now, 
for a diet, it's very straightforward. Frozen bloodworms as a treat, don't give too often. And I use cichlid staple and sinking cichlid staple gold by Hikari brand. The absolute best fish food brand, not sponsored, sponsored, but highly recommended. And honestly, just feed twice a day, enough that all of your fish can get some and get all the food eaten within about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and then you wanna have a fast day in there because these fish, they can end up getting a cichlid bloat from whenever they eat more than they can digest in a certain amount of time. Our fish that we're talking about is bad for that, so be careful how you feed. Remember, he's super aggressive, and he's gonna try to get all that food, so just bear that in mind. Make sure you feed enough, but not too much. Include a fast day. One day a week, pick the same day. For me, it's every single Tuesday or Thursday. Sometimes I alternate, it, it just depends. Me, you watched all the way to the end and you aren't subscribed or a channel member and you still want to see some excellent fishy content be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a channel member to help support financially thank you stay fishy mm -hmm.